Today we take a look at Lars Mittank, a German national who goes missing while vacationing in Bulgaria in the summer of 2014. If you take this case at face value, it's truly one of the most bizarre and confusing missing person cases that you'll ever come across. It's only if you start to look at it in a certain light that things start to make sense. Well, let's look at the official narrative before we do that. The official narrative goes like this. The night before Lars and his friends are set to leave, they're out partying. Afterwards, Lars goes by himself to a McDonald's where he gets beat up by four fans of a rival football team who are themselves also German nationals. The next morning, he goes to the hospital and gets medication for a ruptured eardrum. Because of that, he's informed by the doctor that his injury is going to prevent him from making his flight with his friends later on that day. So they offer to stay behind, but he says, no, I'll be okay. And they leave, and he gets a cheap little motel right by the airport, where suddenly he starts acting extremely erratically. He's seen on the cameras, pacing back and forth. He's hiding in the elevator. He starts texting his mom, saying four men are pursuing him, looking for him, asking him about pills. And um, it just gets weirder and weirder from there. Um, he also asks her about the medication he was prescribed for his eardrum, which is just a simple antibiotic. The next morning, he makes it to the airport and texts his mother, saying he's there and he's safe. But she recommends that he gets a checkup from the airport doctor because of his ear, so he does. While he's sitting with the doctor, a construction worker runs in, and Lars suddenly says, I can't die here, and runs out. He's seen on camera running from the airport, where he runs outside, uh, hops a fence, and disappears, and he's never seen again. So if you believe this official narrative, it makes no sense that he's beat up and pursued and while in the airport, runs away. Because were that to be the case, he's, he has made it to safety. He's right where he can fly away, and there's going to be security and police all around. So if he's actually being pursued, he's good to go. Missing person cases don't usually end with the person getting safe and then running back into danger. So that leaves only a couple options as to why he would have done what he did. One popular theory is that his fight caused a head injury, which made him start thinking irrationally. However, a lot of doctors that have looked at this case have said, you know, if he got a concussion or whatever it was, symptoms for that don't show up within the next couple days. They only really show up months or years later, or if you've had repeated head injuries. And Lars had no history of any kind of mental issues or anything like that. So it doesn't make sense that a concussion or a ruptured eardrum would cause him to start imagining these things uh, the next day or a couple days later. It's also worth mentioning no one's with him when any of these things that he says happen actually happen. And his story actually changed. He first told his friends that he was beat up by four members of a rival football team and later told them that he was beat up by four thugs who were hired by the members of the rival football team to beat him up. So if you look at all the details of this case, I believe that the only thing that makes sense is drugs. Specifically uppers, something along the lines of a cocaine, a crystal meth, something like that. I've been around people who have used these drugs and they go nuts. They go into forms of psychosis where they start imagining things. Their stories often become very specific and repeated as well. So as you'll notice, every story Lars tells it always is four guys. It's like he got this idea in his head. Four football fans beat him up. Well, no, it was four thugs hired by the football fans. Oh, now four guys are uh, pursuing him, asking about pills. It, the pills also are in both stories. And at the fight, he gets beat up and has, has to go get the pills. In the next story, he's being pursued by four guys asking about the pills. They're very similar threads to these stories um, that make it obvious that unless you believe that he did get in a fight and a day or two later was hallucinating or whatever, which medically doesn't, doesn't really jive, then it would really have to be drugs because he doesn't have any, any history of, of uh, 
former mental issues. Uh, these drugs very often cause this kind of behavior. So maybe when he goes to the McDonald's, he buys some cocaine to party or, or something like that. But that's the only thing that really makes sense in this case. Um, I'd like to hear what everyone else's thoughts are. This this is just another heartbreaking case of where a family has lost somebody they love. Um, you know, private investigators have been hired. They've searched and, and they can't find him. So the question becomes: Is he alive? Um, of course, had it just been a couple of days of taking drugs, he would have eventually calmed down. And you know, I, I don't. I, I guess it's possible, but I don't know many cases where it totally permanently changes somebody's mind to where he'd maybe forget who he is, go nuts, be a homeless person living on the street or something like that. That theory only makes sense if he actually did have mental issues for him to just become a homeless person who's forgotten his past or something. So unfortunately, my guess would be that he maybe had a heart attack or something like that. In fact, when he's sitting in the doctor's office and he screams, I can't die here, we don't know for sure if that's because he still thinks he's being followed. Maybe he's starting to feel like he's going to have a heart attack due to these drugs, which cause that very often. They can make your heart go nuts. Um, and they do cause heart attacks. So if I had to guess, he takes a drug like this, starts freaking out, runs, climbs a fence, goes into the woods, and has a heart attack, and maybe is gotten by wild, wild animals or... You know, maybe it's just lying out. Maybe it just keeps running and running and running deeper into the woods and he's just lying out there somewhere. Uh, who knows? But the facts of this case, I, I, I don't believe he got into a fight. I believe that his words and what he said um, really point to him having done some kind of drug. And unfortunately, it might have been his first time doing drugs and it ended up being the last time. Thank you very much for checking out this video please continue to check out the channel like subscribe and i will continue to make videos like these on others thank you so much bye